On July 2nd of 2019, a legend would release an Apex that would completely change the way the game was played. And the name of that legend was Watson. But first, to understand why Watson was so important to the game, you need to know what it was like before she came into the game Season 2. In Season 1 and pre-season of Apex, the only map that existed at the time was King's Canyon, which at the same time also had a very weak loot pool. In this time of the game, you did not spawn with any items, your bag size was smaller, and there was no such thing as an Evo shield. At this time, the best characters in the game were Bangalore, Wraith, Pathfinder, and Lifeline purely because they are all characters who helped increase your survivability. Lifeline especially being popular because back then she could actually heal 25% faster than everybody else in the game. On top of that, having a drone to keep your health economy in check, and then a care package for better loot. And it was actually not uncommon for people to just run out of shields completely with the lack of loot there was on King's Canyon. But with the release of Season 2, that is when everything changed. Natalie Paquette's first love has always been electricity, hence her nickname, Watson. The best offense is a strong defense. With Season 2 of Apex releasing and Watson coming with it, there is finally a solid defensive legend in the game that also solves the problem of running out of shields and countering the nade spam that would inevitably end up happening in later stages of the game. Because at this point of Apex, you could carry two grenades per inventory slot, similar to how Fuse's passive works in the current version of Apex that we all play now. At this period of the game, Watson was actually even better than she is now. Although it was quickly changed, Watson at the time could have down three generators at the same time, all of which would give you infinite shield and would only be destroyed if shot. So essentially, you had infinite shields and an infinite anti-projectile. With Hard Zone pretty much being the only viable playstyle at the time, she became a legend with a near 100% pick rate in competitive. And you would see a Watson on nearly every team in ranked as well. With her completely replacing the role of Lifeline at the time, it was clear that she was ready to become a staple of the competitive scene. Five seconds and counting. Bravo! Let's do this. Here we go. This could be it. Two teams on match point here. MVP pushing in. Can they get this first knock? Doesn't come in. Ross has to stay alive. Very low HP for the Wraith. Very early iframe, so that's going to be a big setback there. But MVP is not the one we're worried about. Is there just a setback here for TSM? Who is going to do it? TSM, you're your champion. No matter which team you would spectate back then, you were basically guaranteed to see a Watson because of how much impact she had on every game. She was mainly paired with Wraith because of how good Wraith is at getting a Watson around inside of zone using the portal, and Pathfinder being the third because he was the only legend in the game that could scan the survey beacon, which is the current version of the ring console that we have today. At this time, you could not have down three generators at a time because that was removed only two months after the introduction of Watson back to one. With Watson being already as meta as she is, with Season 3, we finally got the first new map to come to Apex, World's Edge. With the way buildings were designed on this map, it truly felt like this was a map designed with Watson in mind, and this just made her even stronger than she already was. With no significant changes to Watson at all in Season 4, we fast forward to Season 5 where ALGS has officially became a thing in Apex Legends. And now there is a tournament series officially hosted by EA and Respawn that allows anyone to sign up and compete with the best players in the game. Hello everybody and welcome from around the world. This is where we'll see champions really be born. At this time, it is Season 5 and there is still no change to the meta pretty much whatsoever. But then, June 23rd, 2020, we see Watson's first real nerf, and many would consider this actually to be the death of Watson at the time. She's now allowed to put down 3 generators at the time, but it came at the cost of the gen no longer being infinite, instead only lasting 90 seconds. This was an attempt by Respawn to make the game more aggressive and less campy. Whether or not they intended this nerf to be as bad as it was, this was the end of Watson in the meta. With the fall of Watson and Pathfinder out of the meta came a new meta with the Gibraltar Wraith and Bloodhound. With only a few Watsons left in the game at this time and that was purely just to counter Gibraltar's ultimate. It was very clear that this was going to be a sad state for all the people who enjoyed playing her. Wraith 1! Wraith 1! Wraith 1! Wraith 1! Shoot the Wraith! Watson, Watson, Watson! Watson on us! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Give me up, give me up quick. With the change she received to her generator, Watson's pick rate dropped to one of the lowest in the entire game. And no matter what game mode you played, you would pretty much never run into a Watson. 
At the same time, the meta was shifting more towards aggressive legends like Gibraltar and Bloodhound. With this nerf she got and the meta shift towards being more aggressive, it looked like this was the end of Watson. Not only that, she didn't receive any form of significant change until near the end of 2021, over a year after her gen got nerfed. The only notable change in that period in between was Watson getting another part of her passive, being she recharges shields passively at a rate of 0.5 shields per second. She also got low profile removed from her, as did every other legend in the game who had low profile. As someone who's played Watson basically since her release every day, I can tell you that this is definitely a bad period for her. It just felt like a meta she didn't belong in, with her fences being very niche, and then her generator I would say being basically useless. But then, after over a year of all the Watson main suffering, when it felt like all hope was lost, Respawn drops what would be considered a pretty massive buff to Watson. On November 2nd of 2021, she received some big changes that buff her fences and her ultimate. The biggest one being her ultimate is now infinite lasting again. With her fences now arming faster, an extended placement range, a lower cooldown on your nodes, and stunning for longer, her fences were a defensive tool that were actually to be feared again. And with Watson's ult being put back to only being able to have one at a time, they gave her it infinitely again. But this time, it has a limited shield recharge of only being allowed to heal 250 shield before it no longer has any power to heal. But by this current state of Apex, shield economy was not as important because the loot pool became better over time. And the anti ordnance part of the generator was probably the most important thing. This was a massive buff to Watson that gave her the chance to be viable and competitive again. It even made her more enjoyable to play casually where you would start seeing her in public matches. With someone hitting your fences being basically a guaranteed kill, and Watson in general being a high skill gap character, she was finally back to being a legend that could be feared again. Oh! Whoa, whoa! Why is everyone dying to my fences? What is happening? Oh my god! To this day, nearly two years later, Watson has still not received any change because I think she just sits at a very good state right now, and her only real competitor in the game being Catalyst. Although not the dominant near 100% pick rate legend she once was back in the day, she is still picked and competitive now, and any team can excel with her if they play her right. If you enjoyed hearing the history of Watson and you want to hear other videos like this, like maybe other legends, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to make more like this. That is all I have for this video and I appreciate you watching.